Hey guys, I'm here to give you a deeper dive in the TNC Highway gameplay video that I posted earlier. If you haven't seen that video yet, you could either press the link that popped out right now in the corner or just wait because I'm going to play that video at the end of this one. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. This room is pretty straightforward. Not much has changed. The only thing maybe worth noting is that Rayman 2 sound reference. I don't know if you noticed that. So I try to give you the sense of speed through these speed lines on screen, a strong vignetting effect, the camera shake. Also another thing, if you look at the light road underneath Rayman, it kind of responds to Rayman's movement as the opacity is kind of dimmed down straight underneath Rayman and in front of Rayman, it's actually brighter. As well as that particles effect is supposed to kind of give this feeling of friction. By the way, the fact that I'm standing still right now is just for my own convenience. You, of course, won't be able to do this. Me, on the other hand, well, I can do whatever I want. Okay, let's move on. So I wanted to turn this part into this kind of hub area where you can see different highways in the background. This way, I feel like this part has a greater sense of purpose and therefore is a little more immersive. For the same reason, I have these teensies riding somewhere, which you can see for a brief moment when they're riding right next to you. For this purpose, I made two simple board riding animations. Also, now you can get a better look at the rocket board I created, but there will be a time lapse if you want to get an even better look. So about this huge Rayman model in the background. In the original game, this whole wall was just a blank color. For one, that looked pretty bad in my remake, but also I think that's incredibly boring. So obviously the most natural thing to do instead was to put a big Rayman running on a CRT screen. Zooming in a little closer you can see that he's actually made out of these little RGB pixels. So the final room specific thing to address here is this spaceship chilling in the air over here. In the original game there was this model floating in, in the same place over here. To me it looks like the USS Enterprise from Star Trek. So being the Bungie era Halo fan that I am I decided that I really want to put the highly iconic Pillar of Autumn from Halo 1 instead. This is a really quick model that I created myself. I didn't want to spend too much time on a background piece, but still I think it came out really cool. Now I would like to mention the yellow light roads. In the original game, they kind of popped into existence fairly close to the camera. I don't know if this was by design or just an optimization, but to kind of build upon that, I made it where they slide underneath the player as he approaches. Also, they deform around the player. I made this to kind of reinforce the idea that these are softer and more dynamic, while the blue light rows are hard and more permanent. For the next two parts, there's honestly not much more to say than you can already see, so let's just jump to the final section. Now for this part, I kind of made the eye to be like a separate character that <laughs> blooms when it sees Rayman and she has a tear which kind of fills in the whole area with tears. <laughs> just wanted it to be kind of this kind of godly entity that's like uncomprehensible. Here's the bloom animation I created as well as an idle animation. If we take a closer look at him, we can see the whole cosmos swirling in his eye. And as we approach the end, we get another Rayman 2 reference with a similar sound. Alright, before I go now, there's one more announcement I would like to make. The project update videos from now on will probably be smaller and further apart, which also means that I probably won't be able to maintain a weekly release schedule. But don't worry, that's not because I'm going to be working less on the project, it's just that a good majority of the work that's left here are stuff that are not really worth making a video about. So stuff like making menus, a checkpoint system, fixing bugs, you know, basically stuff like that. So while it may seem like this is almost done, and in some way that is true, a good majority of the work is behind me, there is still a lot more that needs to be done before I can release this demo. All right, I hope you liked what you saw today, and I wish you a very good day. Bye-bye. I'm <laughs> sorry.